All right, let's open it. Yeah. Ooh, Thunderbolt 3 to Gigabit Ethernet adapter. So as you can see right here, here's a Thunderbolt port that plugs into the MacBook. For some reason, they made the graphics Thunderbolt 2. They used the old Thunderbolt port for this picture for some reason. And then here's a Gigabit Ethernet port. Anyways, let's unbox it. Oh no, that's the wrong one. All right, so the reason why I got the USB-C to Gigabit Ethernet adapter is that after Comcast restored our speeds from zero megabits per second to the one that we're paying for, which is Gigabit Internet, the speeds on my other devices did get back to normal, but for some reason, sometimes my MacBook speeds gets very low and the ping gets to like 400 milliseconds which is really bad. And the connection wasn't very consistent. Sometimes it drops and sometimes it's normal. So I looked online and got an adapter for it. Waited two days for the shipping, even though I paid for next day shipping. We all know how that turned out. Well, time to buy another one and return the one I just got. Anyways, let's order it. Okay, Blanken USB-C to Ethernet adapter, 30 bucks. Let's check out. I want to deliver it as soon as possible. All right, we got it. Hi, uh -huh. you want? Yeah. Okay. Can you see it? Yeah, all right, I'll try. Okay. All right, thank you. Thank you, boss. Have a great day. All right, let's open it. And here it is, the Blinken USB-C to Gigabit Ethernet adapter. This thing is, did I just do it? All right, I think I got it. The green color looks really nice. God damn it. Shit. All right, here it is. Wow. Again, the green color looks extremely nice. And here it is. Now let's test it out. We got Ethernet on Lamb's iPad too. All right, first, before we actually test it out, let's test the speed through Wi-Fi first. Start test. All right, the test is completed now. So as you can see, most of the time it's around 30 milliseconds. So that's actually pretty good. But then right here, it went up to, what is it? 45 milliseconds. And then here it's, yeah, it's a mess. Like, I think the highest is like two seconds right here. I have more screenshots as well. For example, this one I did at January 21st got this result. So it's a consistent ping up to 200 milliseconds. You can see there's some noticeable padding right here. And another one, this one right here. But yeah, pings up to four seconds. It's fine during the beginning, but towards the end of the test, it starts choking. Now let's see it with Ethernet. Plug it in. And there we go. I'm just also gonna turn off Wi-Fi to make sure it actually does go through ethernet. 
15 milliseconds. Ooh, 800, 900, 930, 940, 943, 945, 946. Wow, this is fast. And we got a lower ping as well. Five, five milliseconds faster compared to 20 milliseconds. It's now 15. The upload speed didn't change much, but there you go. 946, that's around the neighborhood of a gigabit. Now let's test out what's the most important, a packet loss test. This is the real ping test. Yeah, it's gonna take a while. Also, keep in mind, I did all the tests right next to the router. All right, the test is almost completed. So obviously no packet loss, and wow, check this out. It's almost like a flat line. I mean, the highest it got is probably 40, but most of the time it's around 30. That's amazing. No more lacking out of Servivio. But yeah, I'm just really excited that I can finally take full advantage of my Comcast Gigabit Internet connection. Overall design is okay, but there's just this line through the middle right here. And also, I feel like some of the bottom part of here could have been shaved off, but they put it there for some reason. So now it's bulkier. Also, the bottom part here just completely ruins me pretending this being an Apple adapter because Apple doesn't make a USB-C to Ethernet adapter. So Blinken is the only choice that's closest to an Apple one. Compared to the Thunderbolt 2 to Ethernet adapter I accidentally bought, there's no seams, and it's way skinnier, it's way more in shape, and it's way less bulkier. The only messy part is this part, but I can barely see it. But I do like the inclusion of the ethernet symbol. Here is a comparison of them two. As you can see, one is way more bulkier and less premium. Also, I just realized that they made the blanket one black compared to this. I prefer it to be white. Eh, doesn't matter anyways, since it still has to go through this ugly cable. Still gotta have to return this and keep using this. This is me while in class. Wow, this Uber delivery puts all my personal information on it. Better censor it. But yeah, as you can see, the carrier is Postmate slash Uber. It was actually Uber. I usually don't have any connection problems with my iPad, but let's just test it out anyways. All right, just to see if this contraption actually works, let's open a web page and see how fast it loads. That is instant. Wow. All right, I can't wait to do a speed test now. 15 ping, not bad. So we slowly climbing up to around 900. Yep, we're at 900 now. Wow, wow, check out that speed. Damn. Also, trust for the lows, I'm gonna connect this Chromebook to our ethernet as well, since it also has a USB-C port. Should change to ethernet. There we go. Let's test out the speed. Normally, I get about 150 megabits per second over Wi-Fi on the Chromebook, compared to 600 and 700 on these over Wi-Fi. All right, let's see it. Gigabit ethernet. It worked on my MacBook and two iPads. Will it work here? Nah, it's probably because the speed is too fast for the Chromebook CPU to handle. Yeah, web pages still load slowly. Well, that was a fun experiment. I'm just gonna keep this permanently hooked up to my MacBook since I am using it as a desktop after all. Yep, just gonna keep it this way. Well guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed this journey with me. You know, now I can get gigabit speeds to my MacBook and no more, in, um, no more Wi-Fi dropping issues. Now I should be good since like my MacBook is essentially hardwired to the internet. And also, this is my first time uploading an HDR video. No, I still have the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Just that in the editing process, I essentially stretch this the video and make it brighter. But yeah guys, that's the whole video. Thank you guys for watching. Comment down below what you think. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with another video. Bye.